Okay, today's video is going to be on making up these tokens where both sides are going to be etched and then they'll be cut out. I'm going to etch one side, flip it, and then etch this on the other side. In a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to uh, Captain Scott's Catfish Charters, and I thought I would make him a couple of uh, tokens to give out to people that, you know, come on the boat and catch fish over 20 pounds. So and then I thought I could make a video on it and show people how you would do something like that so first of all you want to start with the size of the token that you want so just drag out one circle I'm just holding shift then so it dragged out so I'm going to make this inch and a quarter put this onto a cut layer because this is going to be cut out and then I'm going to go to offset and offset it inwards um, just a tiny amount let's have a look that'll do just 0 0.03 and then with this one I'm going to put on another layer so I'll put it on the blue layer because this can be the fill layer then you could just want to pick your design I just typed in catfish vector for these ones and select the one you want I'm going to drag it over the top here if like in this case when you go to put it up there I can see it's going to be covered up all you have to do to get over that is up here change the layer so put the layer up to the top this layer anyway wants to be on the same cut on the same layer as the other one so I'll make that blue so I'm going to shrink this down so it fits in there nicely and then I'm going to click this outside one again and op offset this inwards again and then that way it will invert the etching so I'm going to still keep that at zero point, uh, point zero 0.03 okay so now I'm going to quickly go over this and just preview it so you can see what's going on so you can see that's going to be the front of the token would be like this so okay and then same for the back I'm going to select this outside one control and D to duplicate it move it over offset it inwards again 0 0.3 so it matches that one change the layer to make sure it's on the same blue layer I'm going to offset this again now I get same again 0 0.03 I'll just do it the same as this and I can show you how to, I've called the writing around there so you just want to type it all out Okay, just you scale it down to roughly what you think you can always change it after and then to curl it around you just want to grab this little circle you can see there above the E and then that way you can bend it as much as you want so it's a little bit big I'm just going to drag that in a tiny bit I can use this to line it up 20 drag that one over there because I want the 20 quite big but the plus is quite a bit smaller so I'm going to put the 20 when, if you make a mistake just press Control and Z and it will go back to your last move ok so I'm happy with that there I'm going to just select this one and move it out of the way for a second and then I'm going to select this one go to the array tool and then from here you can pick how many you want so I'm gonna go I'll go eight across the same as I did before and then five down and as long as you say okay and keep these settings the same the other one should all be exactly the same I'm just gonna grab all these and group them and then with my ones as well, I want to, like, you know, so people can put them on their keychain or something. So I did just add another little hole at the bottom here. You, all you've got to be careful is when you do this hole, where it's going to affect, you know, on the front. And then just going to select the same again. Go eight across. Oh, five down. And say OK once they're both done just draw out one more square around the outside of them and then just 
move it in so it's kind of close to the edges so it's easy to judge and then this way you'll be able to line them up so I get this I put this one in the laser etch all these then it'll cut them this will be pinned down as you'll see in the video I'm going to flip these over and then once they're flipped over they need this design so all you got to make sure when you put this first design in here all these middle ones are grouped together and you can select them both and click center and that way I center them then once you're finished you can just move that one out of the way select all these or make sure they're grouped together select the tokens first and then the box by holding shift and clicking it and then center it and that way it moves the tokens to the box okay and there you can see the outcome uh, the two darker ones this one and this one as you can see by my fingers I painted with that black acrylic paint this one I spray painted gold but it kind of looked like most of it wiped off really and this is just wood still I'm quickly spinning around so you can see the other side yeah and you can see there that's how the backs came out the sides are actually quite nice and smooth uh, you can see the sides there they're nice i just rubbed off any char and they're still quite dark so yep i flip one so you can see there's the front and there's the back so thanks very much stopped on its own